Hey guys, Stephen here from Greenies Mowing. It's um, it's been a while since I've um, vlogged. Um, yeah, it's been probably over a month. I've just been uh, just been busy with life and it's just been tough lately. I just feel a bit burnt out. I just wanted to get the work done and go home and relax. So I've been doing um, playing cricket and I've been playing 2020 on a Sunday and then seven a seven a side on a Saturday. It's been pretty pretty busy with, with cricket. I love my cricket. Uh, apart from that, work still pretty busy. It is still going off and um, going away in about three weeks. And I just wanted to get a, a video up to you guys to say g'day and tell you I'm still kicking about and yeah, still getting through it. Today I've got about f uh, six six jobs, five five lawn mowing jobs and one big oh, not a big hedging job. I'm doing that now. I'll show you in a second. And um, you can watch me do that. And, um, and I had some computer problems. This bloody iMac couldn't. I just up, I updated that and <laughs> it crashed. <laughs> it didn't seem to want to work anymore. So yeah. So that's just an update with me. I hope you guys are good. And um, I'll, I'll vlog a few more before I go overseas. I'm off in about three weeks. Off to America. I tell you what. I am looking forward to it. I absolutely need a holiday. Um, I haven't had one day off since last October. And it's been pretty full on, absolutely full on. The Torre Grandstand, it's still going good. I've, um, that's in this for service at the moment at the, the local uh, lawnmower shop. Um, they've had for about a week now. Um, they're just waiting for some parts. I'm changing the hydraulic filter and um, they're just waiting for that. Once that comes in, it'll be all sorted. And I'm also looking at the, the Torre Navigator. It, um, I really like that. I mean, the, the Torre Grandstand's fantastic for mulching but you know it's not for every single job you can't mulch every single job sometimes I get um, you know foot high grass when you mulch that it just makes a freaking mess um, so I'm looking at the navigator which is basically a walker but the Toro's version and by by the reviews I've seen it's actually um, it seems to be a lot stronger a little bit different in the, the way it drives um, the walker apparently the one I was looking at is old technology I'm still a good machine, it's a proven machine, but um, there's just no dealers near me for that. Um, so and I'm happy with the Toro stuff, uh, they're very strong. No, anyway, the Navigator I'm looking at is a, um, I think it's a 42 inch deck, but I want 20 grand for it. <laughs> oh, that's big bucks, so I'm gonna have to save my pennies for that. See how much money I've got left over when I get back from America. But yeah, so I'm thinking of running um, the, the grandstand and probably the, the Navigator next season. Navigators are out the front deck, so you can get under the trees and things like that. And um, yeah, just something different, something to catch. Um, so I can just I can almost use that on every single job, I reckon. Um, that's what I'm looking to do next year. Less push mowing, more right on stuff, just to get in and out. I really need to get in and out in most jobs under 20 minutes. Um, so yeah, so that's where I'm at. So um, yeah, all right, guys, I'm gonna let you go. I'm going to show you what I'm up to now. Um, I'm going to just do a hedge. You've seen me mow this property before and um, they just want the hedge done. It's, it's not as bad as it has been but it, it's probably just an hour's job. Um, yeah, I'll give you a look and then I'll give you a before and after. Alright, that's the hedge here. As I said, you've seen me mow this. The, uh, a bit of sun today. Yeah, do that and then the one over there. Um, yeah. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm only gonna use my um, little one today. Just a little one. I actually got that from eBay. That cost me 40 bucks. That's a Shindawa. Yeah, it cost me 40 bucks. It didn't work. Um, all I did was pull the carby apart, cleaned it, lubed it, um, and she, she's a goer. Yeah, I think brand new, they're about 200, 300 bucks. So I've saved a few bucks. And um, I've had that, run that for a while. And um, yeah, it seems to be good, no problems. Um, yeah, in Sydney it's starting to get really cold in the mornings. As I said, really cold, probably drops down to about 6 degrees. Not as cold as other places in the world, but for me, that's, that's enough. 6 degrees is freaking freezing in the morning. And now you can see I've got my jumper on, my greenies mowing jumper. Um, and I 
think we got a top of about 24 today. Um, it's still getting warm. Like Monday, we had a, I think it was a 28, 29 degree day. That's like six above average, I reckon. Um, yeah, it's like, I mean, this one here, this lawn here, you probably can't see that. It's, it's quite dead now. I made that a month ago and it, it, it doesn't need it. Um, yeah, so, so the, the buffalo, this is buffalo. Um, it, it's pretty much dormant now. Um, the only thing that's grown is the kaikiyu. Um, that's still going. Great guns, actually. Um, it's still growing probably uh, half an inch a week. So when I get back to them after three weeks, it really needs a cut. I just hope they um, they stop when I go overseas in three weeks. But, um, but when I go overseas, it's actually, it is winter. Uh, first of June's winter here. Um, yeah. So that's me. I'm gonna get cracking and get stuck into this job. And But yeah, no, I just wanted to get a video to you guys to say good day and tell you what's, what's been happening with me. Um, yeah. All right, guys. See yous. I'll, um, all I'll do now is um, I'll get the blower and I'll blow all the tops off and then um, I'll to the other side. So it's not hard, it's only took me a couple of minutes. <laughs> um, yeah. I think the, the, the longest part of these jobs is just to clean up. Um, yeah. So for you know for a $40 machine, I just made a hundred bucks pretty much. I don't normally use that actually. I actually got a pole hedger on a pole. I prefer to use that, but just for something different, just give this a, this a run. I don't run this very often. I normally just use a little stuff to shape. But um, I'll show you, I'll do that. I'll use a pole pruner for that one, or a pole hedger. Um, that's what I prefer. And I just I feel more um, connected to the machine. With well, this one here, it's, it's, it's very hard to keep it straight because you short strokes. Uh, with the bigger one, you can just do one big stroke and you can step back and actually look at stuff. Yeah. Also, all I've got you, I just wanted to give you as a tip while doing your hedges. I'm doing these sort of hedges. Uh, when you, <coughs> I find when you initially trim them, you, um, you've you got to get it back to where the sort of, where it's original. And then, then once you do that, I always hit it with the um, blower to get all the bits and pieces off the top. Um, because I find if you don't, and you, you cut it and you come back a day later they seem to spring back out anyway um, and then when you come back it, it looks just amateurish that's a big word isn't it it looks very amateur um, so yeah so this is what it looks like when I've just hit it with the blower on the top just to get all the loose stuff of caught of cut um, and you'll see it's all sprung back I'll show you. see how it's all sprung back um, but that's okay now I'll hit it again <coughs> very quickly so that's all sprung back up. Um, 
Yeah, and I find the second time when you cut the top off, they won't strip back because it's all gone. And and then it's nice and sharp, nice and square. Uh, I find that's, for me, that works for me anyway, just to get it nice and square. But I'm very fussy, I like my stuff straight. <laughs> Alright guys. Alright guys, all done. I'm going to show you. So this is it, pretty much the final product. Um, yeah. It's about half an hour job. It's not a big job. So, yeah. That's about it. And the other side, obviously, is not done yet. Um, get there. Okay, I just want to show you what I actually prefer. So, right now, I was using this. That one there. <coughs> I mean that's good for sh little stuff shaping not really made for what I've just done but I just want to give it a run this is what I prefer to use my Tanaka split system and that one there I just find I'm more locked in with it especially for doing stuff like this um, that's, that's pretty much it I've had this one for like years these are an absolute great machine this is the um, Tanaka TBC270S I think it is but I've never had any trouble with it I've had it for six years um, it has lost a bit of power though, I have to give it, but it's it's all relevant. I've used, I've made so much money off that, it's unbelievable. Um, so yeah, all I've got to do now is shape that one there. You can watch me do that with the big one. And then I've just got to um, tidy it up. I tell you, I've picked a freaking shit day to do it though, because it's, it's windy as all shit. Um, it's blowing all the stuff freaking everywhere. <laughs> Alright, we'll keep going and um, after that we'll have a talk and tell you what I'm doing with my pressure washing. Alright guys, just want to tell you, this Tanaka is going to be a cold start, so you'll see how, how easy it is to start after six years. I think for me, with the hedging, there's no real right or wrong way to do it. Um, I always chop the top off first, and then I'll do the sides. For me, that works works out for me. But I mean, everyone's got their own way to do things. And, um, for me, this feels the most comfortable. Um, and the results seem to be okay. So right now, I'm just going to blow the tops off. And then hit it with a small hedger, just a couple of spots I can't get to. Because it's the big one's just too big to get into the tight spot, so I use a little one. And then I'll just clean it up and um, that's it. All right, keep going.
when you're doing it, don't be afraid to make a mess. <laughs> I've made an absolute mess. The wind's not blowing me either. It just seems to be blowing the shit everywhere. All right, well, I'm gonna just get my rake out, start raking it all up, and I'll chat to you after. There we go, guys. All done, all cleaned up. Um, so that just took me a little over an hour, um, but I'm not working hard. I'm not breaking any records today, and I've been playing with the camera, so I'll give you a look at it um, after shot. And that's this other side. And that's this side. A little over an hour, 100 bucks. There we go. That's it, and that's why I love this job so much. You know, you don't have to work long hours to make, make your money. You know, in and out in 20 minutes, in most lawn jobs. And, you know, on to the next, the next shop. I, uh, I don't think I could ever stay in a workshop again for all day. Same thing, every day. I love this job. We've got the best job in the world. <laughs>